What's good YouTube? You're back on S Motorsports. Today, we're gonna be installing the oil pump on the LQ4 build, and I'll show you the right way to port and shim it. today guys we're gonna be installing the oil pump on the LQ4 build and I'm going to do some port and polishing on the oil pump I am also going to shim the bypass spring uh, to get a little bit more pressure out of it uh, from the factory and also I'm going to show you how to shim it correctly when installing it onto your engine so let's have at her so let's get this out of the box I did already take a peek at it Let's try doing this with one hand. So, what I picked up is just what, and I don't know, this is actually the stock pump for the 2003, you know, 2500 6.0 engine that I have. This is that same pump. It's really the same one as an LS2 pump as well. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dis disassemble it because I wanna, uh, port and polish these little ridges out of the oil pump to make sure we get maximum flow uh, in the inlet as well as the outlet on the pump on the inside. And then after that, after I clean it all out, we are going to also shim the oil pressure bypass spring roughly 80 thousandths to 0 0.1, 100 thousandths um, to bump up the pressure uh, slightly, probably about 10 PSI is what I'm going for. So that would make it hopefully roughly 70 PSI. So let's have at her. I'm gonna get it disassembled and get it up onto the vise so we can start porting and polishing. So what I'm gonna try and port is basically right in here at the edge here where the entry is. There's a little bit of a lip. I'm gonna try and take that down as well as the exit. Let's see if you can see that. Right here, just try and make that a little bit of a smoother transition um, to help oil flow. And so really don't have to do too much, but um, little goes a long ways. Okay, I got the oil pump all cleaned up. So now it's gonna start to reassemble. So what, like I said, like what I'm doing is I'm gonna slide a couple shims in the pocket here where the spring sits. And so I found a couple washers that are the right size. And basically this is 90, if you can see that, 93 thousandths. So that's what's gonna slide into this pocket. 
like so, and then the spring sits in there, and so that puts a little bit more pressure on this plunger, and it'll increase the oil pressure by roughly 10 PF PSI from what I was seeing. About 80 thousandths to 100 thousandths is kind of the sweet spot, so that's right in the middle, so that's about perfect. And I'm not putting any oil on it yet. Okay, and so now we're at the point where we're gonna install it on the engine. All right, now we're gonna install the oil pump and what we're gonna do is loosely put the oil pump on and we will loosely put the oil pump bolts in. Almost tight, but not quite all the way. And I'm gonna put a little dab of just a tiny, tiny bit of Loctite on the threads. Just kind of for safekeeping, call it. Just barely hand tight. And it's still, still loose. All right, next step. All right, so I'm gonna take a 2,000 shim and I'm gonna slide it in between the uh, rotor here, the outside rotor, on top. And then again, we're gonna do one on the bottom. Probably should have did that one first. Okay, let's do the bottom one first. There we go. Okay, so it's all supported on the bottom and then we'll see if we can get one on top here. Oh yeah. There we go. All right, now we're gonna take a couple shins and see if we can put them in between here. There. So that's still pretty, honestly, kinda loose. I actually stepped it up so I put two and a half thou shims around the outside. And I'm gonna try and put three thou shims now in between here. Try and tighten it up just a little bit more. Make sure that it's centered good. Yeah, we're still good, that, but that does feel a little tighter. So I think we're good now. All right, so now we'll just lightly snug these down. Still good. So now let's torque these four bolts. So these oil pump bolts get torqued to 216 inch pounds or 18 foot pounds. You're all set. Let's throw some oil in there to make sure that we have, it's not running dry. Obviously we're gonna prime this, um, prime the engine before we would start it, but this is just easy since we have access to it right now. All right, now let's throw the cover back on. Okay guys, we've got a couple bonus parts now. We're gonna throw on the oil pump pickup tube, and which I got off Amazon or eBay, you can get it. I'll put a link in the description, as well as this ICT billet uh, oil pickup tube hold down, which uses two bolts instead of just one for it to be more secure to make sure that doesn't loosen up. Let's take that bolt off first. As you can see, the hold down has 
two holes to clamp both sides of the pickup tube so it is more secure. Except there's a big old booger weld there. Nice. Nice. Yep, that's not gonna let me use it. I do want to use this, so I think what I'm going to do is come in here and grind away a little bit on each side to clear those welds so it fits. Because I would like to use it, and I think if I do that, I think I can still get it to work uh, so I can use two bolts to hold that on. That would make me feel a little bit better. Alright guys, so I modified this guy. I just kind of ground some away. Um, it's mostly intact, so now it fits over. Uh, the welds here so let's give her another shot okay i'm gonna torque the pickup flange bolts to 106 inch pounds i'm gonna tighten these first before i tighten that one All right, guys, that's it for today. Thanks for joining in. We made a little bit of progress on the LQ4 build. We got the oil pump installed. It's looking good. We got it shimmed up correctly, so we shouldn't have any issues with that. Plus a bonus item of the oil pickup. Hopefully next one we'll be installing the oil pan. Um, I do have to probably port that just a little bit too. There's some flashing in some spots, but we'll get the oil pan installed, uh, the front cover next time. You know, it, it's slow progress. I work on it when I can, but uh, I'm trying to do it the right way. And you know, this little things like this that, you know, it hit those welds, it just takes time to <laughs> mess with it, check it, mess with it. You know, it just took way longer than I thought I was going to, but I'm happy I got to use that. I got Loctite on both these bolts and I got them cinched up good. So we shouldn't have any uh, oil uh, leakage issues with it pulling air in or anything like that. It's really starting to look like an engine and I'm getting excited to get it buttoned up with the oil pan and the front cover uh, to get her all sealed up so it can, you know, probably sit for a little bit through the winter as I acquire some more parts. But yeah, I mean, it's looking good. So thanks for joining in guys and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.